Good morning and happy Monday. Today is September 9th, which means I am doing my weekly series, my weekly playlist video on my analytics and what I've gained this week, what I learned, how many subscribers I gained. But quickly before I do that, I just wanted to say that I no longer want to focus on how many subscribers that I have. Being that I already started this playlist, I'm gonna continue going with it until I am monetized, but it's not going to be the main focus on my channel. It's gonna be more of like, a checking in with you and reporting what I've learned and showing my progress. I just kind of like want to shift the focus that it's less about me really and it's more about you it's showing you that this is how somebody did it. Um, this is, you know, the things that that person went through as they were monetizing their channel. I recently started up a challenge and I'm going to put the playlist right here if you want to check out that challenge. I haven't decided the parameters of my challenge yet. It's, it's literally just starting, but my challenge is going to be focusing more on what I'm doing to improve video quality, improve my scripting, improving my thumbnails, improving all of those things that will result in the watch hours and will result in the subscribers that will get me monetized, but I'm doing it more about my improvement rather than by like I don't want to beg for subscribers you know what I mean like I don't want I don't want any sympathy subscribers I don't want people that are just subscribing just to see you know just to like help me like I you know I want to do it on my own merit I want to do it because I'm providing value I'm providing something back to people and people are loving it and they want to watch more that's the reason that I want to do it so let's dive into the analytics for this week so we can see kind of what's going on and then I'll pop in at the end and we'll have a little talk about that Okay, so here is my YouTube studio homepage, and you can see I have 268 subscribers this morning, which is amazing. I believe that's 18 more subscribers than I had last Monday. I think I had last Monday 250 subscribers. So uh, let's go into the analytics of the channel as a whole, and I'm going to change this to seven days. I didn't get that many views this week, only 1.4 so this is 80% less than the previous video, uh, the previous seven days. Watch time, 40% less. So I didn't really get that many watch times, but my subscribers definitely shot up. So there was a reason that my subscribers shot up, even though my views are very, very low. I must have just been going to the right audience and, and those people were watching my videos. So let's kind of scroll down. Your top content in this period. So I had a short that got 441 views. I might have gotten, you know, subscribers from that. So we're going to look into this. Um, this is my episode three. Today, I believe is episode eight. Episode three is really getting a lot of views. And I think subscribers are coming from that video. Um, the rest of these, you know, okay, fine. Um, let's go into advanced mode and subscription source. And we can see YouTube watch page. I'm getting 13 subscribers. I lost to uh, YouTube channel. Gain four, lost zero, shorts feed, gain one. So that kind of shows you where they're coming from. And if I go over here on where it says content, this is where I can tell where I'm getting my viewers and my subscribers. So right now I have it set to highest video subscribers. So you can see right here, episode three, for some reason, I don't know why that one is just getting, uh, I got 11 subscribers this week just from that video. Episode four, I got two subscribers. And then the rest of these, you know, not so much. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm getting them. And so older videos can perform better. I don't remember what I talked about in episode three, so maybe I should go back and and, and look at what I was talking about and why that video is so much more popular than some of my more recent videos. It, I would be curious to know that. So let's go over to content to see what I posted this week. So. Looks like this is episode seven. That was last Monday. I posted two long form videos. I started a new challenge and then I'm starting a playlist for that. So the um, challenge video got 21 views and two comments. This one, stop chasing subscribers and views for engagement. This one, I kind of like went into uh, like eye catching thumbnails and making better video tiles and just more of how I'm going to tackle getting better at this, right? So it's not just about getting the subscribers. It's not just about getting the watch hours. It's about creating a better quality product so that those other things will come. We've got 59 views. That one did pretty well. Four comments. I got five likes. So I'm, I'm getting some likes on the videos as well. 
So those, those did pretty good. Um, I can go into the analytics of this one video by clicking here and I can see, you know, um, I'm getting some up arrows here. So this video is doing better than I thought it was going to do because I didn't show my face on this video at all. It was just nighttime. My husband had gone to bed and I was in his man cave and it's dark in there. And I was like, you know what? I just I have stuff to talk about. So I thought I'm just going to record this video and then I'll take notes or whatever and then re-record it. Well, I ended up recording it and I was like, you know what? I think it's good enough as is. Let's just upload it and see what happens. And then <laughs> it ended up doing better than I thought it would do. So I uh, didn't get any subscribers on this video and that's fine. But yeah, it was mostly like, here's, here it is. It was like, I did kind of like a PowerPoint presentation and I just talked about stuff and then I demonstrated some stuff on the screen. So this one did good. Uh, reach wise, 2.3 thousand impressions, click through rate. Uh, you know, it's, it's okay. Uh, how viewers are finding the video browse features. I'm not really sure what that means. Channel pages. I'm not sure what that means. Suggested videos is where I want to be. I like this to be probably number one. Uh, so that, that would be something for me. Um, let's look at engagement, see where they dropped off. You know, they're, they're, not that many people are watching till the end. So that, that's something that I'm talking about in this video is, is getting people to watch longer by doing better in my videos. So let's go back and check out the analytics on this one. Um, about the same as usual, about the same as usual. Nothing's nothing fancy reach 1.1 thousand. So the more impressions that you get, the more of a chance that someone's going to click through. If no, if your video is not showing, on anywhere, then no one's going to see it. Right. Um, so it basically needs to show and that's what the impressions are. And then the click is, is your thumbnail and your title of getting them. And I talked about that in that, that first video that I just talked about, um, engagement, you know, it's draw it's, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then it drops off. So I need to go back and see what was I talking about at one minute in that made people go, meh, I'm good. So I'll go back on that video and I'll check that out and see what happened there and what I was talking about and why it bored people so that they didn't want to watch anymore. Uh, shorts. I don't know if I posted any shorts, honestly, I posted one short. <laughs> so this was a short that I created inside YouTube. I had never, I don't really do that. I usually kind of repurpose from other platforms like TikTok usually. Um, but this one I created in the app and it, it's just a simple little video of me saying, you know, I'm getting more subscribers than, than I usually get 441 views, six comments, two down, down, down votes, boo. Um, but whatever. So, um, what did I do right? And what did I do wrong this week? So I think I did something right by posting two videos, two long form videos. I think that was good. I still would like to shoot for three. I would like to shoot for two video. Well, I guess I did two videos in addition to, um, this video. So this would be one of my videos and then two other videos. So I guess I hit the mark there. Uh, so that's what I'm going to actually do for my challenge. I'm going to say that I want to post three long form videos a week, two of them being, you know, content based, and then one being my monetization update video shorts. I wish I had posted more shorts. I would like to have, maybe let's shoot for five, five shorts a week and get those going. Um, but that is my analytics for the week. So, um, let's talk about what's next. 18 new subscribers in a week. I think that's pretty darn good. And I think if I keep going the way that I'm planning to go with my little challenge and planning my videos, like I think I had like a psh, aha moment this week when I realized that I should stop recording my videos first and plan a little bit because I really think that that is the key to having a successful YouTube channel is to know what your title is, know what your thumbnail is going to be, know the outline, a rough outline, it doesn't have to be scripted word for word, although you could, of your video before even clicking record. So that's what I'm going to work on from now on is doing those things and making sure that when I'm going into a recording that I know what I'm saying. Because if I know what I'm saying, then everything aligns. The, the title, the thumbnail, the description of the video, and then the words that I'm speaking are all aligned. And that's where the keywords come in. That's where you get your little score. I think you get a score 
of you know how well your video is doing and that's how your videos get pushed out to more people and the more times your video shows up in the impressions on someone's screen you have more people that are going to see that and possibly click on the thumbnail and possibly watch some of the video in that. So I'm going to continue working on all of those things. We work on retention, engagement, you know, engagement is uh, getting people to do an action, right? Clicking like, subscribing, typing a comment. So we want, we want all of these things. All of these things are part of having a successful YouTube channel. Monetization alone, I mean, yeah, I could get to a thousand and one subscribers and four thousand and one watch hours and then be monetized unless I nail down all of the elements of what makes a video good where people want to watch it, it I mean it's gonna be pennies it's gonna be pennies on the dollar and it, I mean is it really worth even saying that you're monetized if you're only making pennies every month <laughs> it isn't to me so um, I've got that coming next thing the other thing I have coming is I have a video that I'm going to audit someone I came across somebody on threads that was saying they have 8,000 followers, but they're not monetized. So I want to do a deep dive into their account and I'm going to do a video about that to kind of try to understand, you know, because I'm looking at accounts that are monetized and uh, creators that are doing well. And then I want to look at somebody who is not monetized and is not doing well and try to figure out what's wrong. Like I'm a troubleshooter at heart. So I think this will be a great learning experience for me. And I kind of want to, you know, bring you, my viewer, along with me and see if we can figure out why this person's not monetized. I think it's going to be pretty darn clear once I start getting into it. Um, but like I said, I'll make that video and, and that'll be pretty amazing. Um, I'm just, you know me, I like to ramble a little bit, so <laughs> I am going to end up this video. If you want to subscribe, I would love that. I, I, you know, not required, obviously not required. I really only want people to subscribe if they think that this is valuable and that they will come back and watch other videos of mine because I, I have a lot of stuff planned. And chances are that since you've watched this video all the way through and you don't subscribe, you are probably going to see one of my videos again on your screen here as an impression. So. <laughs> we probably will meet again. All right. That's, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next Monday on the next analytics video. And if not, check out my other two videos that I'm going to post this week about various topics on creating better YouTube videos. And I got a plan. I got a plan. I got to plan my videos and um, I'm rambling again. Goodbye. Have a great day. <laughs>